Today I want to touch on some items that I think are important to have in the kitchen as a homemaker. So the holiday seasons are coming up and these are just some things that I use actually on a day-to-day -day basis but that I think are important to have in the kitchen. I have done a video like this in the past but um, it's just good to refresh and good for me to remember what I've got in my kitchen and what I am loving. So first off, one of the most important things for me to have is cast iron. So I have a couple different sizes. I love my cast iron. This one was an antique that was just given to me and I use it every day, if not two or three times a day. It's just so handy to have for eggs, for making a bake in it too, so you can put it right in the oven. So I highly recommend, recommend a cast iron skillet if you can get your hands on one. Even if you, you can get a couple of them to keep when some of them you need to season them to give to your kids in the future, I think that's a great idea. So that is one of my most important items in my kitchen. The other item is, this is, <laughs> This can be debatable for some people, but sourdough. I think it's important for my family to have sourdough starter. So I love having sourdough bread, sourdough to put into things. It's just so many good health benefits. This is not an actual like utensil, obviously, or cooking item. But I just think sourdough is so good for us. And I know there's research done on like the health benefits with fermented food. And it's just really, it's just great to be able to make your own bread with sourdough. So I definitely think that's a priority in my house. And number three, similar to the cast iron, is a Dutch oven. So I bake my sourdough in the Dutch oven. I make lots of soups. I love that it can go in the oven as well. And it's just so nice to have a nice, big, sturdy Dutch oven. And you can get them even just at a department store. I know we got ours for our wedding eight years ago, I think just from Kohl's. And so there's, it's not an antique, it's not old, but it works so well. All right, next I think is having solid utensils to use. I like using wood. I do have some more plastic for um, like flipping eggs and stuff. And for certain things, you don't want to use metal to scratch like cast iron and stuff like that. But Having good utensils to stir, to cook, is so important in the kitchen, especially when you're making three meals a day, when I'm, I'm a stay-at-home mom, so I'm always having other things that I'm making, and so it's just important to have good utensils. All right, then, nice serving ware. So sometimes I use these bowls to serve in. Sometimes I'll use like a false scrap bowl that I have, but something that you can put on your table to serve when guests come, I think is very important, especially holiday time if you're gonna be hosting some parties, that you have something solid and beautiful that looks good on your table. And with that serving ware is cloth napkins. So I am a huge proponent of having cloth napkins. Yes, we use paper towels every once in a while, but I I prefer to use cloth. It's so easy to wash them. We use them for our breakfast when it's just our family sitting together, just when my girls and I are eating lunch together. It's just so nice to have. And so we've got, you know, the everyday cloth napkins and then we have the guest party napkins. All right, next an apron. It's so important to have aprons, especially as a homemaker when you want to dress nicely and look good. You don't want your clothes to get all ruined. I don't always wear an apron, but I still think it's really important to have a couple nice aprons on hand, some for your kids, one for you if your husband cooks. You know, it's nice to have something that you like, a good apron that you can wear. All right, and then rolling pin so being a bread maker a pie maker with that holiday season cookie dough it's important to have a nice rolling pin so i have a couple rolling pins i usually use just one the others might be used more for decor i think it's important to have a good rolling pin so that you can get those nice doughs all rolled out for your pies and cookies like i said okay well that might be about it. I guess some others just um, like um, 
mention would be some mason jars. We drink out of our mason jars. I store food in our mason jars, my broths in our mason jars. So those are probably something I would recommend having in a kitchen. Um, you know, just things that you use on a daily basis in your kitchen that are solid, uh, daily common uses I think are just important to have. I guess I should also mention a good mixer or even a an immersion blender. So I have my mixer behind me and ever since I moved it out of our cupboard that I had down over in our rolling storage, I use it all the time. So I should have done that sooner. But I also use immersion blenders in the winter time, fall winter time for soups like butternut squash soups and split pea soup and things like that. So having something that is really useful for that is really nice, like a mixer and an immersion blender. So I guess I had a few extra there, but what is one of your favorite things that you use in your kitchen all the time? It can be one I suggested or use, or it can be something that you use completely different from me. All right, well, we'll talk with you in the next video.